All right, here we go. So this is going to be a, a weekly love and relationship tarot reading, Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising for a January 6th to January 12th, a 2020. And um, in case you guys uh, want to get in touch with me for a private reading or such, um, you can check the description down below of this video and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you know you can order a, a personal reading uh, you're gonna find the um, contact form there as well and so on and so forth so moving into the uh, Capricorn love and relationship tarot reading for the week now the first card here that stands for you guys is going to be for what it seems the ten of cups this is the topic of the week itself and the theme uh, followed by the next one which is the energies that is supporting this topic here and we do have the judgment just one second to see if i am recording yes i am recording so the next one it stands as the challenges that you capricorn need to overcome throughout the week in, re in regards to love and relationship that is to be the ace of pentacles followed by the fourth card that stands for the blessings and the gifts that you can enjoy throughout the week in re in regards or that refers to love and relationship that is to be the uh, temperance card uh the fifth one uh here it is what we have as the how people sees you you know how your uh friends and family is seeing you how your partner in relationship is seeing you person of interest and so on and so forth that is to be the death card and then we do go to the sixth one which is what you can do in order to further or to help your long-term love and relationship goal and we do have the moon card followed by the next one here which is what can hurt your long-term uh, love and relationship goal uh, and in other words is something that you shouldn't do uh, or restrain yourself of doing that is to be the page of pentacles and the last one here it is uh, the guidance that taro is offering to you in term of love and relationship that is to be the uh, emperor card all right lovely so uh the first couple of cards here that we do have we have to interpret them uh together because they have a very tight link so ten of uh, cups and the judgment which are the energy supporting um, I would say, looking at those couple of cards, Capricorn, that that is to be a bit of a, um, quite of an emotional week, uh, but I, I can't say really pleasantly emotional, but more like a, a calmly emotional, I don't know how to say it, so it's not, there, there won't be any fluctuations whatsoever in terms of your emotional status that being said you uh, it's kind of unlikely that you are going to cry or it's kind of unlikely as well that you are going to uh how can i say it a um over exaggerate and this ain't gonna be because nothing major is to happen out there because it's gonna happen th things are to happen that you are expecting those things to happen therefore you are finding yourself a bit prepared i would say it that way now important thing here to be acknowledged with this couple of cards it is that you are going to make a significant progress in terms of love and relationship you know either into your current relationship or approach of a, a person of interest and so on and so forth that is due to those couple of cards and what they really says is that while right now it's comfortable at the place where you are right now uh this thing that you do have with so with either your partner husband wife you know and or a person of interest it should not and cannot stop where it is but instead you know and further progress needs to be made or further actions it is that you need to do in order to uh, uh, let's say improve it or proceed forward with it and this comes from the energies here that are supporting the topic and those are energies of um the right moment in the right place i don't know how to say it the judgment is like the wake-up call i always say it either career-wise or either relationship wise especially in the energy position is about having having a conclusion okay so you are to have a conclusion in in term of your um love and relationship and based on that conclusion you're going to make a major move moving forward without being you know so surprised about it and uh, thus you can expect that your 
love and relationship status is going to stir once again. Now, what is going to be the challenge here? That is to be the Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to be quite challenging for you to further the goal itself. That's about the Page of Pentacles. Or to find soil how to further the goal. No different than you want to be with someone. That person wants to be with you as well. But you can't find the reason behind it. Okay, you can't find... Uh, a, a practical solution to the urge that you do want to be with something and that person wants to be with you and so on and so forth. So you, you are going to uh, find it difficult to find the opportunity to further your goal, which could create rather disturbance into the communications, into the relationship in general. So from that particular aspect, the, the Ace of Pentacles as well points that you're going to find it challenging to maintain harmony into your communications and interaction as well with the person of interest, your husband, wife, etc, etc. Now, the other card represents the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week, and that is the temperance card. So, we can look at the temperance card from couple of, uh, from couple of angles here. Now, the first angle that it is most trivial one, it probably is going to be applied for the majority of you, it is that that is the gift, not exactly of patience, but of a uh, a clamor. And I will try to explain you what I mean. A clamor that uh, these uh, disturbance into communications, you know, or lack of opportunity is going to just pass away. And it's only, um, how can I say it? Um, well, I would say it that way. The aim, the goal of you in terms of love and relationship, it is out there. You know what you want. It's just you know the 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 strategy or the recipe for it. It is not quite mixed yet, but you are getting there. So this is one of the blessings. So it's kind of like confidence, is what I'm trying to say. The other thing, as a gift and blessing, it is the solidarity and the compassion that you are gonna feel from everybody that stands around you. That being said, you know the person of interest, your partner, and so on and so forth. So these people will try to understand you. These people will try to help you as well with anything that they can. And together, that is very important. And together, you are going to find the mix, the the the, the decoction that you have to con uh, concoct. So you know that magical potion. It is the potion of love for for both of you. So the other, uh, the other card here represents how people see you. And that is quite important here. We do have the death card. And uh, in this particular case, people are seeing you as a, uh, uh, someone who uh, had enough of what it is right now and just wants the things to take a different form, a different shape. Now, death is... Many people say that death is about... Um, transformation and while that is the um this not the circumstances but the end results of it that is the death card the process of the death card is not exactly transformation the death points that i uh, uh whatever you know one person is involved into has reached its natural limits and its natural ending so people were seeing you like said that you don't want to have anything to do with it anymore or you do had enough of it right now and if you are to proceed forward with future interactions or with future relationship and so on and so forth something needs to change. I mean, there, there, there needs to be a reason out there for you to keep on going. Because as we saw in the challenges, it is that the reason is going to be challenging for you to see, and not just only for you to see, but imagine it is in, in between you and your person of interest. That person of interest is not going to do a great job convincing you that there is, a, uh, there is something for you in it being in a relationship with that woman or with that gentleman. So the other card here, uh, Capricorn, it refers to what you can do in order to further your long-term goal. Mm. Referring to love and relationship, we do have the Moon card. And a couple of things here with the Moon card. Do not rush it, guys. Now, the Moon points that right now things are... And the resolution of everything is anybody's guess. What I mean is that the Moon points are the circumstances are forming at this very moment. So the decoction I said that you're trying to concoct 
uh, the ingredients for it, which is, you know, love, uh, 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 solidarity, like I said, compassion, trust, uh, mutual reliability, and so on and so forth, are right now forming, but they are not in their initial, uh, in, the, in their ultimate stage. Therefore, it will be best for you to this week, what to do, it is just observe. But as you observe, you also need to have a... Um, you also need to place certain hopes into it as well. So you chose your partner or your person of interest, although you may not make any moves throughout this particular week, just as the Ten of Cups suggests, okay? That doesn't mean that you have abandoned the idea of being with this guy or with this woman or, you know, with this person in general. It's just you are waiting for the, uh, how can I say it, the, the most... Uh, positive circumstances in order to make your move moving forward. So the moon card here uh, in the grand scheme of things says to you Capricorn, do not deviate from the path that you have currently chosen. And the next card, it is about the uh, what you can hurt your long-term goal. And we do have a person around you that you very well know that will try to approach you romantically, okay? So, um, I would say with the Page of Pentacles, that is usually a friend of yours, okay? Someone that you don't have emotions right now toward him but, or toward her, but she or he does. And they are approaching you, explaining you how big devotion they do have toward you, etc., etc. And um, some of you, out of pity, may try to give it a go. And that, of course, you know, throws you into a relationship that it is deprived from love or at least a mutual one because it's, it's obvious as it falls into that position that you will not have these kind of warm emotions and feelings that that person is going to have towards you. And uh, the last card here represents uh, the guidance that Taro is offering to you in terms of love and relationship. We do have the Emperor card. So the Emperor uh, in that particular narrative urges you to... Um, display that while emotions are something you value it quite much you are not going to be allowed to be blackmailed blackmailed by emotions and that you can be as reliable as possible even if you madly love someone so in other words you uh the tarot urges you to uh, take control over the entirety of your life and as soon as you do so your relationship and love life is going to sort itself on its own accord which kind of correlates with the moon card that we do had at the uh, what can help your long-term love and relationship goal so you just clean up the mess everywhere else and your love and relationship while you have to wait in it throughout the week uh, is going to resort itself on its own accord. And this is going to be your wake up call, all right? The energy that comes around and you will basically know what you will have to do by the end of the week. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly uh, love and relationship tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you do want to get in touch with me for a personal reading, you can check the description down below of this video. And there you're going to find a link to my website. And from there, you can, uh, you know, you can schedule a reading with me. So yeah, we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.